Okay, guys. Uh, today, on the indexing, we want to uh, talk about the column operator. Well, when we say the column operator, we are talking about this specific symbol here. It is used uh, for hmm, two main purposes in MATLAB. Two main purposes, and we want to see that. We've seen, we saw in the introduction of arrays that to create vectors, right? All you need to do is to open and close, okay? And then uh, you, you write what you want to see in your vectors, right? One of the uses of the column operator is to help us to create specific types of vectors uh, rapidly. When you have vectors that are organized, whose elements are organized in uh, an arithmetic progression, okay? It is uh, very easy for you to create them with the help of MATLAB using the, the, the using the column operator. Okay, so uh, what do I mean when I say arithmetic progression? One, for example, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? It has a common pattern. Okay, each new uh, number is uh, the addition of the previous number plus one. So, 3 here is 2 plus 1, 4 here is 3 plus 1, 5 here, so we will say the common difference is 1, okay? It goes from 1 right up to 8 with a common difference of, of 1, okay? So, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, and so on and so forth, right? So, if I have to create this vector in MATLAB, okay, I may say V is equal to is equal to this as one of the solutions we saw that it's not only by uh, by commands that we are obliged to separate them we can also separate them with space so this can be a way of doing it okay but a faster way will simply be to write v is equals to one is to eight okay one column eight one column eight tells matlab create a vector whose first number is this one okay and uh, whose probable last number or whose limit number is this one okay and all of the elements there should be uh should have a common difference of one so start with this number and then add one and one and one until you reach okay this number or this the the smallest number uh the greatest number smaller than this sorry right so if i press enter here what happens i'll have my one two three four five six seven eight okay so why am i indicating that it is the smallest or the greatest number uh less than this because i can see say v of 8.5 for example okay that won't give me 8.5 at the end that will stop at 8 and 8 is the greatest number following the pattern of adding one 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 which is uh, smaller than 8.5 okay why because if i add another one to this eight here it gives me nine and nine already exceeds this last value right good so that is what the column operator does it helps us to create uh, vectors that are in an arithmetic progression in a very very simple manner but this default way of writing it okay this default way of writing it as v is equal to a uh, is to b right uh simply gives us a vector that starts with a and uh, you understand right up to b with a common difference of one that's the default but the question is i may want to create a vector also let me put this in uh, in comments okay I may want to create a vector also whose who is of this nature whose common difference is something like uh two so one three for example four uh sorry five uh what's that seven nine eleven that's another vector right and it's still in the arithmetic progression because this is this three here is one plus two this five here is three plus two this one so all of the elements are just plus two of the previous ones okay good so uh for me to be able to do that i need to implement a different uh formula for this okay so i will need to use v is equals to a 
is to n is to b okay where n here is the common difference so this a is the same as the a that we were using before the b is the same as the b that we we're using before the difference here is that in this case it is it will always be one that is the common difference here if it, you have a common difference different from one you can indicate it in the middle right here okay so let's represent this for example so for me to represent that properly it goes from one okay with a common difference of two right up to 11. so if i press enter i have my one three five seven nine eleven okay so this principle goes the other way too okay so i can start from 11 instead 11 and then uh, say negative 2 right up to right up to 1 okay so the the common difference there must not be a positive number it can also be a negative number as we are seeing and you'll say 11 minus 2 9 minus 2 7 minus 2 5 minus 2 3 and so on and so forth okay so this can be very handy in indexing so let's see how if i have a for example okay uh you remember we index one two two the last time right so for me to do this one two two we wrote one uh, we wrote two uh three and four but the indexes here are arranged in an arithmetic progression right three plus one four plus one five so to index this instead of saying uh what we wrote last time what was that we we'll say it was on row one, and then uh, the positions following the columns were three, four, and five. So you notice that I'm creating a vector, a vector here, right? Instead of saying three, four, five this way, all I can do here is just to say three is to five. Okay, so this will still create the same vector, but this time around, you see, it is more beautifully written. So if I press enter. Oh, 3 is to 5? That was wrong. It is 2, 4, huh? 2, 3, 4. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so we'll say 2 is to 4, right? And we'll have a 1, 2, 2, right? So, uh, same goes for another example that we took. Uh, that was something like uh, 2, 10, 9, right? This 2, 10, 9. So that the positions here are the first row, the second, uh, the third row, and then the fifth row. First row, third row, and fifth row. So it means the positions are incremented by 2, right? So for me to do that, here's my A. For me to do that, I will just indicate the position here as 1, right? It starts from the first row, uh, is to 2, with a common difference of 2 right up to the fifth row right then comma we want the third column three so that would be my two ten nine okay what does this do it creates a vector which is one three and five because it starts from one with a common difference of two right up to right up to five okay so uh that's just part of it that's just part of it so we'll continue with uh the second function of the column operator in the next video okay so uh see you there